Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do mesh adaptation. And so I'm going to assume that you already have a simulation that's finished running. Now, the first thing you need to check is that in your solver file that you use to run the simulation, you have this print y bar flag set to true. Now, it's usually automatically set like this in most solver files, but you just need to make sure that that's true because you need this y bar in order to do mesh adaptation. And the second thing you need to check is that your simulation has actually finished running. So in here, I'm setting it to run for a thousand steps. Now, if the simulation somehow was stopped before this point, then it's not going to work because the white bar is only printed at the end of the simulation when it finishes running. So if you're running a simulation only for the purpose of mesh adaptation, you don't need a lot of time steps. You can probably just do 50 time steps or something like that, and it should be fine. OK, so we've got our simulation finished running, and it meets these two requirements. Our results are in this folder. And this is on Vivian. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log on to Vivian. And I'm going to go to this folder. And I'm going to go into where all the results are, where all the restart files are. And then I'm going to type post solver minus SN, and I'm going to put in the last time step, which in this case is 1000. And I'm going to go minus PH minus Y bar, so this flag prints the Y bar. OK, so I'm going to do that. And, and now it's printed the Y bar into the restart 1000. OK, so the next step I'm going to do is I need to go to the folder where my mesh is. And then I'm going to copy the solid model and the .sms file, which contains your mesh information. I'm going to copy both of these files and then paste into the folder where I have my simulation results. OK, so once I've done that, the next thing I need to do is um, I need to modify my adapter script and you can download this with this video, or you can just type the, these text into a text file. OK, so in the adapter script, um, what I need to do is uh, I need to change a couple things. So here, um, model file, I need to put in the name of my solid model, which is right here. So you need to put that. And then you need to put the, the name of your mesh file, the SMS file need to make sure these are the same. And then you need to change this number to whatever the time step number that you're using. That is your last time step. And then do the same thing, the same thing here. Um, and then here's the, uh, the output, the name of the output file. So at the end, you'll get a SMS file as your result. So you can set that to whatever you want. And then I would, you would leave these. Don't need to change these. Um, the ratio. Uh, it's usually set to between 0.2 to 0.4. So the lower the number you set it, the, um, I guess, the higher quality mesh that you're going to get. But then it's going to take longer to adapt. Um, so I set it to 0.3, and you can ch play around with that. Um, and then here's the, the maximum and the minimum element size that you can set. So usually, you would set the maximum to 50. 50% more than the uh, original max edge that you have. So in this case, in, in the mesh that I used, the max edge I, I said was 0.1. And so I would set this to something like this. So 50% higher would be 0.15. And then the minimum element size, you can set it to something like 10% of your original max edge. Max edge. OK, so set your adapt script properly. And then um, now I'm going to copy it into my results folder. I already had one in there. but So copy in there. And, and then now we go back to here. So I'm going to run the script. I just type bash adapt script. And now it's going to run. OK, so while it's running, I'm going to prepare the next step. So at the end of this, you're going to get a SMS file, which is contains all the information of your new mesh. And so you can use that file to create another um, set of mesh files that you can use 
um, that that is adapted. So I'm going to just going to create a new folder. I'm then going to call it my new mesh. And then what I what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the solid model file to the new mesh folder because you're going to need this to generate the uh, mesh files. And then I'm going to go. So this is finished running. And what it's done is that it's created a uh, the adapted SMS file. Um, as a result that contains all the information of the new mesh. So I'm going to copy this into this new mesh folder here. OK, so now these are the only two files I need to make all the mesh files for the new new mesh. So I'm going to go to this folder, and I'm going to open SimVascular. Okay, so first of all, you need to go to meshing, and then you need to load your solid model first. Click load, and then I'm going to load the mesh file now. So it'll ask you this, and just click no. Choose the adapted SMS file, and then say yes. Then it's going to load the mesh. And I think it's, yeah, okay, so it's finished loading. If you want to look at it, you can look at it, um, but you don't need to look at it. I guess it could be a good idea to take a look. So here's your new mesh. And then if you're happy with the way it looks, just click Write Output Files. And now it's going to write. Oh. Okay, so you need to actually go to here. This is, and then un uncheck this inflow. Um, and then you can write it again. So I think I, I talked about this before in the previous tutorial. Okay, so now it's finished writing, and here is now all your files for your new mesh, and it's, it looks pretty similar to the previous one, but now it's adapted, and so you can just use this the same way that you use any other mesh.